Hello, everyone, and welcome to another day of my 31 Days of Halloween, where I do a new makeup look every single day in October. Today marks the last day of my Seven Deadly Sins series, and uh, I've definitely saved the best for last. This is Gluttony. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, this looks really difficult, but honestly, the hardest part is building the prosthetic. If you're familiar with face casts, all you gotta do is buy some store-bought clay and start to build a new face on top, so that means bigger cheeks, make yourself a double chin and a thicker neck. For me to get even more in depth, it's gonna take an entire tutorial, so if you guys are interested, definitely let me know and I can uh, do that for you, okay? For the bald cap, I just picked one up from Party City, and I'm going to be attaching it with a product called Prozade. Prozade is much thicker than spirit gum and a lot more easy to handle than liquid latex. But just like any adhesive, you have to wait till it's tacky for it to stick to anything. Now to cover my eyebrows, I'm going to be using just an Elmer's glue stick and rubbing that in with my fingers. I know this is crazy to say, but at the end of the day, your fingers can sometimes do a better job than any brush in the entire world, okay? I'm then going to be adding a layer of liquid latex on top of my bald cap. Now while we wait for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and paint my prosthetic into a darker foundation color. I've already covered it entirely with Hot Makeup's foundation stick, but now we need to get it to match our actual skin tone. So I'll just be using Ben Nye's foundation color, and I will be also coloring the bald cap as well. <laughs> Once everything's dry, I'm using Maybelline's Fair Concealer to cover up those eyebrows. Now I gotta make this prosthetic look seamless against my skin, so I'm using Ben Nye's Nose and Scar Wax and just creating another layer that's gonna fade very evenly into my skin and cover up those harsh lines where you can see that this is just a prosthetic attached to my face. Now I've popped in some crazy contacts and now I'm ready to powder this entire thing down. For the next step we're gonna add in some shadows. The point of this prosthetic is for me to look thicker than I actually am. So we need to add to that illusion by darkening my double chin and showing all my neck rolls and all that good stuff. By the way, I forgot to mention, if you're wondering what's inside of that prosthetic, all it is is stuffed with cotton balls up against my face. Bonk. Now this is where the character actually comes alive. I'm going to be using NYX's eyeshadow primer and then using Morph's shimmer palette to add some color. I'm using the pink color specifically on only one of my eyes. Then I'm going through with Urban Decay's electric palette and coloring the other side of my eye. The fun part about this step is that you get to be as crazy and creative as possible. So pick whatever eyeshadows you want. And uh, I just suggest to use the bold and bright colors as much as possible because that's basically what this look is. We're gluing candy on our face, okay? So you can't just have some subtle smoke eye. You really got to go over the top with this. Honestly, I'm using blue as a contour on my nose, so basically everything is free game. For my eyeliner, I'm going in with NYX's Vivid Bright, and I'm doing yellow on one side and then the sapphire blue on the other. And I'm going to also create some drippity drops on the eyeliner to just add to that theme that we have going on of ooey gooey gluttonous goop, or whatever you want to call it. Then on my lower lash line, I'm going to be going through with Kimchi's eyeshadow from Sugar Pill and also just the slow burn orange color from the electric palette from Urban Decay. Then as a staple, of course, you have to color that waterline using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And once the makeup is all on, we get to actually start gluing things to our face. I bought some crafty gold glitter glue from Walmart. Wow, say that five times fast. And that's basically going to be the adhesive that's going to stick everything together on our face. This includes our cupcake sprinkle eyeshadow, our Twizzler eyebrows, and even our tiny 
little sprinkle lips that will sit on top of NYX's liquid suede lipstick in the color denim. Now this look would not be complete without glitter, so on one side of my face I'm going to be using three shades of blue. A darker blue, a more aquamarine blue, and then a silver. And then on the right hand side I'm going to be using a dark green, a lime green, and then I think I used the same silver as well. I just want to create a gradient. And for each side of the face I'm going to be attaching a slice of candy corn. Now for some candy beauty marks, I'm just sticking on some dots. Then I'm going to add an extra layer of disgusting. I've created some gelatin and I'm going to be dripping that on my face. Both on the green side and on the blue side. For the eyelashes, I really zhuzhed them up. I dipped them in glitter, and then I glued on the same sprinkles that we have on our lips. For the tip of my nose, I'm putting on a little peppermint. And for the hair, I'm attaching it with liquid latex, and all of it is made completely out of stuffing that you would find in like a teddy bear or a pillow or whatever. I'm just doing like a Lucille Ball type of hairdo and then spraying it with pink hair color. Now I know we're getting really extra. <laughs> So this last part is definitely your choice, but I grabbed some Hershey's chocolate syrup and drizzled that all over my mouth. Ooh. I think it really brings it up one more notch, you know? But that's it! All you gotta do now is find the most colorful blazer you have in your closet, throw on a necklace, and you are the most gluttonous geek of them all. And holy Moses, we made it! We finished all of the seven deadly sins. Make sure you guys let me know which one was your favorite. And tomorrow, we pick it right back up again. Remember, I'm doing a makeup look every single day in October, so I hope you stick around. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!